this is going to be a visualization of mental phenomenon set within uh, the Dumbo neighborhood of New York City. I'm Mark Collins. Uh, I'm a co-director of the Columbia University GSAP Cloud Lab. Our project today is the Dumbo Mental Map. This event we've been hosting with Van Allen Institute is part of our newer cartography project where we're mapping the urban environment with neurological data such as the EEG. My name is Toru Hasegawa. I'm co-director of the Cloud Lab at Columbia University. We're very excited to be doing this event. This is a first chance for us to take some data gathering, data visualization techniques that we've been concocting in the lab and really launch them to the public with a big aspect of public participation in the data gathering. We're using old technology or, or old mechanism, which is EEG. We're actually recording electrical activity on the surface of your brain. We're using the NeuroSky MindWave Mobile to do the data collection. This is a really simple and really inexpensive EEG brain-computer interface system. I'm Dave Jangra. I'm a neuroscientist and a biomedical engineer at Columbia University, and I work in the Laboratory for Intelligent Imaging and Neural Computing. I'm particularly interested in EEG because you can go mobile with it. You can take it out into the world and watch the signals evolve as you're actually walking around and looking at things that we care about. The NeuroSky Mind Wave Mobile produces some very interesting readings that they derive from the brain signal, including readings about attentional factors and even how meditative somebody is. The other element is GPS. So this is how we're going to associate what you're experiencing with where you are. We're going to send you out scouring the urban environment and as you're emoting or sending mental energy through these sensors, we're going to be recording it and then we're going to aggregate all of that into a massive visualization um, of this activity. Everybody's walking different routes. Wander around, pursue your interests. If you find something that's interesting, dwell on it for a little bit. BCI in the wild is a relatively new idea and we haven't seen a lot of projects addressing it, but I think it's something that's going to explode in the near future. It's a very exciting project in the sense that it's a scale that we haven't done previously. Culturally, we're accepting more and more of this kind of uh, data gathering passively through our daily lives. The visualization we're going to produce is a really important part of the project. We want people to look at this visualization and have an understanding of what they're seeing that's very similar to how people might look at a, a map of weather phenomenon. We're definitely looking forward to a moment where this technology is so ubiquitous that uh, the data gathering is happening almost everywhere all the time. We think it could produce a really interesting data set that I think urban designers, architects, and policy makers might be very interested in. Everyone's sensing it could be something that could change the way we understand space or experience space. It's putting BCI in people's hands that wouldn't normally have access to the technology, including many artists, including many designers. There is interest in the architectural arts, in this community of Van Allen and the Clown Lab, uh, which is just an indicator in itself that's very exciting.